Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here. Welcome to another video. Today I want to do a short tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC and that is how to add warp stabilizer on top of slow-mo to your clips because if you're clicking this, you probably had the same problem that I did when I was trying to drag warp stabilizer on top of slow-mo. It just didn't work. It would give me an error message and I did not know what to do and I tried to look on YouTube and people didn't explain it very well. So I figured it out however and I want to teach you guys how to add warp stabilizer to slow-mo because when you are on Final Cut, they let you drag multiple things on one clip and it works totally fine, but Adobe Premiere Pro renders in a different way, so you have to do a certain thing to bypass this error and I'm gonna show you that right now, so let's jump to the computer. All right, so when you're on the computer, you open up Adobe Premiere Pro CC and you're gonna add the clip that you're going to want to use, obviously, you drag it over to your timeline and I already, for the sake of time, added the clip that I want to use. So here is the clip from a recent wedding that I just did, um, moving up towards them. As you can see, it is a little shaky and I want some slow-mo on that. So let me show you what happens first when you add slow-mo. We're gonna do uh, 50%, we'll just try that with some optical flow, that's what I like to use. And awesome, slow-mo looks pretty good. I could probably adjust it a little better, but we're gonna keep it at that. So what happens when you add warp stabilizer? So if you want to add Warp Stabilizer, you just go to your search bar on Effects, Warp Stabilizer, you're going to click and drag it, but, oh, well, you can't. Warp Stabilizer and Speed can't be used on the same clip. No worries, we're going to bypass that. So you're going to hit Command Z to get rid of that, and this is what you do in order to use Warp Stabilizer with Slow Mo. You're going to hit Nest. You're going to right click the clip, you're going to hit Nest. You're going to type it, name it, whatever you want. I like to use warp. So now when it turns green, you know that it is nested. And once it is nested, you are able to drag this over to the nested part of the clip. And now it's saying analyzing in the background. If you want to see the process or how long it may take, just head over to effects. Once you have clicked on the clip and it tells you you're at 14%. All right, now that it has finished analyzing stabilizer, this is what it looks like. Slow-mo, crisp, clean, and smooth. Now, as you will notice, it is zoomed in a little bit more than what it was previously. Why does it do that? Because it takes the outside edges of the shakiness, zooms it into where it can stabilize it. Uh, this is what it looks like without warp stabilizer. Okay, as you can see, it zoomed out a little bit and then zoomed in. The more shaky the video is, the more zoomed in it's gonna be. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions on Adobe Premiere, Feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will try to help out. Peace.